everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how I got this nail art designs by using everyday objects that you would usually find in your house. It's so simple to do, yet it looks so complicated. Make sure you leave a like and make sure that you comment and subscribe. I'm going to get straight into it. So I've already done my nail care routine and my base coat, so all that's left to do now is paint my nails white. If you do want a nail care routine video, then just let me know and I will arrange that for you. So this next step is really, really important to ensure that your nails are nicely cleaned up when you're finished. I'm going to be taking some liquid palisade. You could use liquid latex or you could use glue. I wouldn't really recommend using glue because I find it doesn't work as well. But if you can get your hands on some liquid latex or liquid palisade, I'm not sure if they're the same thing, they might be the same thing. So I'm just going to be putting that around the edge of my cuticles. And this is going to be creating a barrier between my skin and the um, nail polish. So as you can see, the liquid palisade around the edge has almost gone clear. That means it's nearly dry. I'm going to be showing you two different ways to use cling film to get nail art. You're going to be needing lots of different colours of the autumnal colour range. Oranges and reds and yellows and kind of like mustardy orange colours. Take a dollop of each colour and you want to just place it onto your nail. You want quite a lot so it's easy for it to spread. Now I'm going to take this cling film square and just put it onto my nail like so and I'm going to move it around so that all of the colour spreads out and when you take it off you get this really cool design. Put this, this cling film back onto your nail and get it in all these places you missed. So you've got this really kind of autumnal design onto your nail. The second way you do it I find is a lot easier. It's just the way you use the cling film is a bit different. It's quite similar to the last one. Still put on the blobs as you did before. Brunch up the cling film. You're just going to dab out the colours. So those are the two basic ways to use cling film in order to get a really awesome nail art design. Now I'm going to show you what you can do with those different designs to get an even cooler effect. The first way you can make this design look even cooler is by using striping tape. I just ordered this off Amazon. I know you can use sellotape, but it'll be quite difficult to get them all at the same width. But if you don't want to order any um, striping tape, then feel free to just use sellotape. So I'm going to be doing this one on my baby finger because I'm going to be using this finger to do an accent on. I will be using tweezers to put on my striping tape just because I find it gets a lot neater, it becomes a lot neater. So as you can see I've just put it horizontally in a straight line. So as you can see I've got all of the striping tape in neat horizontal lines. Now I'm just going to be using the same technique again as I did for the first two fingers. I'll be using the technique where we scrunch the um, cling film because I just prefer that way. Now you want to work really quickly because you don't want it to dry on top of the tape. I'm going to pull off all of the tape. So as you can see the second one didn't really work very well so I'm just going to be taking a nail art brush and I'm just going to be redrawing that line on. And that is what it, the finished design looks like. The next one is probably the hardest. I'm going to be doing this on my thumb as it has a bigger area to work with. So you're going to need a little bit of sellotape and you're going to fold it in half. I'm going to be cutting half a heart in there. After many attempts you will have the perfect heart that you can use on your nail. So I'm just going to apply that straight onto my thumb, like so. Try and get it as 
in the center as possible. Then we're just gonna do the exact same thing as we've done. Now what you wanna do is just peel off the heart. Now we've done all of the rest of our nails, I'm gonna do the accent nail. And for that, I'm gonna need a sponge. This is just a makeup sponge, as you can see I've already used a little bit. I'm also gonna be using this really autumnal glitter color. This is by, this is by Barry M. This is called Jingle Bell, so as you can see it's a Christmassy colour but I'm using it for autumn because I find it has lots of autumn colours within it. As most of you probably will know, the best way to apply glitter to your nail is by putting it onto a makeup sponge to begin with. Make sure it's really packed on there and you get as much glitter as possible. And then, rub it onto your nail. Now for the best part, that is peeling off the liquid palisade they put on at the start. have to do is to add a top coat this is going to seal it all in and make sure it doesn't chip throughout the time that I'm wearing it and there we have it this is my autumn nail art I really hope you enjoyed if you did try this out make sure you contact us and tell us how it went if you want any more videos like that make sure to let me know in the comments below and I think that's it. Bye!